Another one of the animal ambassadors we have here at the Dickinson County Nature Center is our bluegill. Now, we've had a variety of different fish in our fish tank throughout the years, uh, but right now we have a tiny little bluegill and he's a great eater, so I'm assuming he's probably going to grow pretty quickly. Our bluegill here is a little spoiled, I would say, because he doesn't have to worry about any changing conditions, he doesn't have to worry about getting food, uh, but our fish in the Iowa Great Lakes are probably starting to go through some transitions as the weather begins to cool. Now our fish in the Iowa Great Lakes don't have quite as much to worry about because our lakes don't freeze all the way to the bottom. Um, so they do have plenty of oxygen throughout the winter. And our little guy in here has bubblers so that those bubblers keep adding oxygen to the tank even though it is not flowing water. Uh, but our fish in the Iowa Great Lakes uh, can survive the winter through a few different ways. One of those is by finding enough food. So some different types of fish, including bluegills, actually can raise their body temperatures uh, even amidst the surroundings if they have enough calories to burn. Um, but that does mean finding enough food to do that. Now fish actually are cold-blooded, which means they can adapt really well to the temperatures that surround them, uh, whereas humans are warm-blooded, which means that we stay at a consistent temperature and do not adapt well to our surroundings. Um, fish also survive the winter. Some species will actually eat a lot during the fall and they will pack on fat and just like bears do and that will help them as they get through the winter. Um, and then some species will look for really, really easy meals so that they're not burning a lot of calories and that could be digging in the mud at the bottom of the lakes, maybe finding some aquatic invertebrates, um, some insects that are at the bottom of the lakes. Um, and you know what, some fish do actually end up losing a lot of weight. So a lot of times northern pike and bluegills will end up losing a lot of weight because they're not eating enough calories to be able to sustain themselves through the winter. Um, but another way that they survive the winter is also by slowing down. So their body processes begin to slow as their temperatures go down um, and that helps them conserve enough energy to get through the winter. So basically life in the Iowa Great Lakes now is probably slowing down a lot. It's super active in the summer, but in the winter, all of the fish kind of slow down. You know, the prey fish such as bluegills will hide out in vegetative cover. The predator fish, you know, walleye, northern pike, muskies, will kind of slowly swim along the edges of that cover and just wait until they see one so they can dart out and grab it instead of hunting a lot. Even catfish sometimes bury themselves in the mud at the bottom of the lake and they will just wait until spring, which is also what frogs and turtles do. So life in the lakes is starting to slow down a little bit human-wise and it's also probably starting to slow down a little bit fish-wise. But if you wanna see an active fish anytime, come check out the bluegill at the Dickinson County Nature Center.